We're here at ITU Telecom World 2014 in Doha in the state of Qatar and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Samir Halawi who is Chief Executive Officer for the Thiraya Telecommunications Company. Mr. Halawi, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I'd like to start off by talking about the central theme here at ITU Telecom World 2014 is future in focus. What developments in technology policy or business do you see key to the near future? Innovation. Innovation is the key word. Uh, you know, we need the innovation that is disruptive in the satellite world. The satellite world has uh, been a little bit boring, if I might say, over the last few years, and we need to change that. And there's been some uh, direction, in, uh, you know, for, for innovation and for disruption over the last few years, over the last couple of years in particular. We, for example, at Thraya, we have launched something called the Thraya Sad Sleeve. And that changes the concept of what a, a satellite terminal is. It's basically a sleeve that allows an iPhone or Samsung Galaxy to be plugged in it that transforms that smartphone into a satellite smartphone, giving you a access to voice and all the apps that you have on a smartphone anywhere in the world, basically. And that changes the way people look at the, at the satellite world because instead of having now a satellite terminal, people have an accessory for their iPhone or their Samsung Galaxy, which makes the whole concept of satellite uh, telephony very much more in line with what consumers are used uh, are, are used to. And uh, the, the, the other element would be convergence because by having innovative devices that blend in more with the mobile world or the terrestrial world that everyone is so familiar with, then you are able to converge, you are able to have offerings through mobile operators and as such, for example, we have signed the deals with SoftBank Mobile, with Smart, with Airtel now uh, to offer uh, solutions for the everyday user everyday user today that allows them to access the satellite world from wherever they are. That's brilliant. And what are the principal challenges and opportunities facing the satellite sector today? Well, there are a few challenges. One of them is the fact that it has not innovated enough over the last few years. And, you know, the, the price of satellites is still the same. The price of launches is pretty much the same. All of this needs to be, to be changed. And in order to change, you need more standardization in the industry, especially in the mobile uh, satellite world. With different uh, standards that each operator has, the economies of scale are simply not present. We need to do something better on, on the standards. The other element, of course, is spectrum. Now, spectrum is a scarce resource, and a spectrum is uh, an area where the satellite world needs more of, let alone trying to defend the position that we already have today. And, you know, there's all, all the, the tension today between the mobile world and the satellite world on, 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 on the spectrum. The fact is that the satellite world is very important to save and improve lives. And uh, we at Thraya in particular, we have launched earlier this year a statement of purpose in the company. So you know the traditional vision and mission of the company. Statement of purpose is something above that. And ours is very simply to save and improve lives. Because that's what really we believe every employee in the company does on a daily basis. So that would not be possible without access to Spectrum and without access to the resources that we need in order to do that. Now, I wanted to ask you, you've obviously been uh, very much involved with uh, projects that we've been involved with, the ITU have been involved with saving lives. How important are international cooperation and cross-sector partnerships in improving emergency communications? Well, obviously, really important because in order to offer the services that we offer and the times that we need to offer them you know, on, on a short notice, you have to have cross uh, a border uh, transfer of, of terminals. You have to be able to get terminals into the, the, the place at the right time with no problems with customs or regulatory areas. And this is where discussions like in this event, you know, help us in working together to get to, 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 to achieve that. The Tampere Convention, for example, is something that all countries are should be encouraged to to sign up to. Uh, uh, of course, uh, you know, the, the, the regulatory uh, uh, regime has to be open, and it's pretty much open, you know, most of the world, but in some areas it needs to be uh, improved. You mentioned this event. I wanted to ask you, what value do you uh, perceive of events such as ITU Telecom World 2014, for example? Well, the good thing about events like this is the right policy makers are all uh, joined in a, in a place like this. So you can discuss and debate and elevate where needed, you know, the, the topics that are of importance and priority, that we really need to do something about, not just the but we need to get things done. And have you got a main message for participants and, uh, and delegates here at ITU Telecom World? I think, you know, one of the main messages is to look at this whole spectrum uh, element, to look at the Tampere Convention and, and, and to look at uh, areas you know, around custom duties and what can be done to facilitate 
you know, the, the, the cross-border transfer of satellite equipment. But in addition to this, also work with the regulators, work with the governments to see how uh, satellite can be put at use in, 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 in a way that is, there's a methodical testing every once in a while. Because when the disaster hits, everybody needs to be, to be ready. Now that we've uh, basically been asking everybody who's been coming into the studio here, what single technological development do you think, in 30 seconds or less, will have uh, the biggest impact in the next five or ten years? I would say the Internet of Things, you know, because that's a very big word, and the numbers are staggering. That the numbers that, that this, you know, this is going to reach. And again, satellite is very important for this because of the ubiquity, because the coverage that satellite can afford for small devices that go anywhere. The simply mm -hmm. the, the trust your world does not, you know, will not be able to serve the, la the, the small densities of population in certain areas. So that's going to be a massive opportunity for us. But again, that is driven by innovation. We have to innovate. We have to, we're looking at connected cars, we're looking at wearables, we're looking at things that have not been addressed yet by the satellite world. Couldn't agree with you more. Thank you very much for this today. Thank you very much.